What's going on, you guys? What's up, Teutonians? What's going on, man? It's crazy, man. The Tennessee Titans out there unveiling, you know, the new plans for the new stadium, ready to get on it. That whole upper area, you know, like the biggest bar ever for a stadium type shit. Like, that's crazy, bro. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see that stadium in person for all the people who, who, um, who, who, you know, I can't, who don't come out to the, the, you know, the California games, the West Coast games. Uh, I can't wait to meet all you guys there. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, man. I'm really, really, really excited, you guys. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, it's a beautiful stadium. It looks beautiful. Look good, feel good, play good mentality. Uh, we've got our quarterback. We've got our ownership. We've got, we've got our general manager, VP. We got the fucking head coach. We've got it all, baby. We've got it all, baby. I cannot wait. Also, hey, hey, we got to start giving TA some credit, baby. RG3 tagging Titan Anderson in his Twitter post. In his Twitter post where he's telling everybody he has an interview with Will Levis. He tagged Titan Anderson. He tagged Titan Anderson, bro. And then when I when I go and retweet that, telling everybody, hey, all Titans fans, go watch the go watch it. Go watch it. He retweets it. Bro, I'm telling y'all, our voice is heard over here, bro. Whether people want to admit it, give us credit or whatever. A lot of people don't like what we do over here because we do things differently. But people respect the being different. People respect standing out. And your voice is heard over here. Like I said, RG3 tagged Titan Anderson on Twitter when he released his post. Because he knows the real Titans fans follow this guy right here. That's a fact. If you guys think I'm just making it up, go to Twitter, Titan Anderson one Go to RG3, Robert Griffin III's Twitter. You'll see both of us there. Pretty impressive stuff. Derrick Henry follows me. The Titans follow me. A lot of, a lot, a lot of them do, bro. And we're only going to continue to grow and get better. Brand new stadium. Woo! Looks beautiful, man. We got, the, like I said, the coaching. Everything's coming into place, man. We just gotta we just gotta put it all together. We gotta start stacking it all up, man. Stacking wins. Start putting asses in those seats consistently. We gotta start winning at home. Making sure that it's not it's not somewhere where you think, oh, we're gonna go on a uh, vacation to Nash Vegas. It's not gonna happen like that, baby. No. It's the Ville. We need a good draft, man. We need we need some solid bring-ins from in, in in free agency, and we got to go into this beautiful freaking stadium as a winning, head-hunting, dominant football team. I'm gonna say what's up to everybody. I think Ducky Titanus, what's up, buddy? Uh, Daniel Berry Sports, Isaac Mickner, what's up? What's up? Alan Darby, TA, tighten up. The draft combine is here. Yeah, man, we've been paying attention too. A lot of them defensive linemen are running fast for big guys, bro. My God. What's up, Jaden Mesa? What's up? Titanus says TA is that guy. Yes, sir. What's up, Lee? L L what's his name? Leron? What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? This is crazy, man. It's so crazy. Just when you think the Titans are, are, are going into nothingness. Brand new stadium. Superstar franchise quarterback. Everything's coming together, man. All we got to do is put together a couple few seasons with amazing ass off seasons, free agency drafts and staying health relatively healthy and we're going to go into that new stadium swinging, baby. Yes. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy. This is so crazy. The Tennessee Titans, bro, making all the right things happen, man. All we got to do is bring Derrick Henry back. All we got to do is bring Derrick Henry back. But that's another thing. Another thing that we have on our side is that we have Ty J Spears. So it makes it even that more difficult to figure out if we're going to bring him back or not. Um, I've already made it clear I want them both to be there. This is crazy, bro. Oh, my God, man. Wow. Amy out there, man. They got the shovels and the hard hats. Making noise out there, man. Amy Adam Strunk is the deal, bro. Yeah, man, you guys, we got a channel Discord. You guys, 24-7 football talk, Titans talk. Make sure you guys join it. Hey, we're under 20 subscribers, you guys. We're under 20 subscribers away from uh, from 13,000, man. So if you're here new for the first time, try to help us get that, man. That would be fun. 
Uh, Alan Darby said, "TA that Florida State defensive line player. I like him." Hey man, don't fall in love with the forty. That's what that's my saying for the draft. Don't fall in love with the forty. It's a beautiful thing. It, it it's fun, but these fools are running the forty yard dash in underwear. You know what I'm saying? They're not going out on the football field in underwear. They're going out in the football field with full gear, full full tactical helmets and war uh, <laughs> sports armory. They're going out there to dominate and destruct each other's bodies. Like, come on, bro. That's why the, don't these guys ain't running the four the forties in like in pads. Like, they're not playing football in underwear. Like, that's why it's so strange, man. I want my quarterbacks. I want all my players doing these drills. I want all these big guys running. I want everything done in pads. Wear the same size pads you're gonna wear in game day and we'll judge you on like you know what i'm saying that that's how i want to see my guys running and gunning and moving and grooving some guys can carry weight better than others some guys can't you get what i'm saying it changes everything make sure you guys hit that like button you guys continue to subscribe what's up xd gamer alan darby man i hear i see you bro uh isaac says uh when are we going to start building it than the stadium bro the, the, the we should be in the stadium within a few years bro that's what's great about it um, we're we're gonna be able to go into the stadium with Will Levis in his prime, like going into his prime, bro. It's gonna be so great. Ten years of Will Levis in that stadium, bro. Like that's what I'm expecting. So let's keep his ass upright, and and let's get him the weapons and the defense, and let's try to win a fucking Super Bowl with this guy. You get what I'm saying? Crazy, bro. Fucking crazy, man. Oh man. I love it. Uh, Larian says Callahan wants a committee backfield. We'll see. You, you got to have a committee regardless. Nobody ever really does it by themselves. Everybody always has a backup or somebody to help them out. So even if Derrick Henry doesn't come back, which he may not, if he doesn't come back, then we're going to need to help Ty J somehow, right? We got to get him some help. Hey, guys, make sure y'all hit that like button, you guys. Let's go. Get that like button flowing. Let's go. Let's go, you guys. Hit that like button. Let's get it. But yeah, you gotta have uh, you you've gotta be able to have multiple dimensions to your to your offense. Um, it just sucks because Derrick Henry still has a lot left, man. You can clearly see it. Um, sadly, it's probably gonna be somewhere else where we're gonna see it. I just hope I hope that if it's if he doesn't come back, it's it's somewhere where we're not gonna have to really see him. You got fucking Saquon Barkley over there trying to do everything he can to be a Texan. And they got all the money in the world so they can bring them over there if they want to. Chat section, how would you guys feel about uh, Saquon Barkley going to the Texans? I mean, they've already got a lot of weapons, bro. Well, how? Like, let me know, you guys. Let me know. How would you guys feel if the Texans picked up Saquon Barkley, former running back, first round pick from, uh, from the Giants? What do you guys think? Former Penn State. What do you guys think, man? I think that'd be a really good pickup for them. I know he has health issues, staying healthy all the time. But, I mean, when you look at the running back they have, you know, no, no disrespect to Pierce and them boys. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to work, bro. I just don't think that's going to work, bro. But, um, yeah, if they want to spend some money and they got the, they got a lot of money to spend, uh, they can go out and get Barkley. And, and I'm sure that that would, you know, that would make sense for them. But it's all it's all up to them. I mean, they can do whatever they want to do at the end of the day. Uh, Titanus says, any football streamer that ain't A to Z or any other whack stuff has my respect. <laughs> a lot of people don't like them. I'm not sure why. I don't listen to them. I never listened to one A to Z program ever in my whole life. Like, have I ever seen a clip pop up? Of course. But have I ever clicked on something or looked up, looked them up? I've never, I never have. I, I never have. I just, that's, I, I, it's like, it's like a visual radio. I just, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I just, I can't do that. No disrespect, man. They, you know, continue to do their thing. I just can't do that. Uh, Alan Darby says, TA, I can't wait to watch Joe Alt with the offensive linemen. Bro, that's what, that's what we're rate. That's what we're really waiting for, bro. You know what I mean? It's going to be really nice. Uh, Titanus says, no, I don't want Barkley there. He is not uh, an absolutely insane back when he's healthy. Yes. Alan Darby says, it depends on Barkley if he can stay healthy. That's a fact. Uh, Carrie B says, why is Carthon and Callahan wasting their time being at this groundbreaking ceremony instead of the combine? <sighs> you know what? This is, um, this is big for us. It's, it's, it's a new stadium. It's, it's what, 
it's it, it's it's us we've got scouts we've got we've got guys paid to be there right now we cannot we can't just miss opening our new dungeon our new home and we can't do that without our top guns there you know what i'm saying you can't do that they needed to be there if they if 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 they have you know what i'm saying if they didn't have that to you know then i'm sure they would work on being there but you got to think about it in from their perspective they're about to open up the newest most beautifulest and and you want them to miss it i don't know about that bro you got you got you got to have them there man you got to have them there bro Yeah, uh, Titanus says that'll make it tougher in us, uh, tougher for us in the division if they get Barkley. That's a fact, bro. And again, Texans are, they're here. They're here. I don't think it was a fluke, bro. I don't think it was a fluke. Jaguars, I, I told you guys right away, they weren't going to do it again. They suck. The Texans, I don't, I don't smell fluke, bro. I smell a solid football team over there. And, and if we're going to, you know, I want to compete with them. I want to play. With, I want to play. Let's go. Let's compete. It's better that way. Colts, they don't know what they want to do. Let them sit. Let them sit there. They can sit there and ride, bitch. And then, um, you know, the Jaguars can be in the trunk. And uh, you know, us and the Texans will fight out, fight it out, and see who's gonna who's gonna ride, you know, and, and control this ship. This AFC South is between us two right now. Jaguars are a lost cause. They have one good season every seven years and they disappear for five more and they'll pop back up every once in a while. Colts run out of luck. No luck, you're done. Colts are done. They'll be middle of the pack or trash tomato can team. Braden says Derrick Henry sucks. That's crazy. That's how you know you're, you're not realistic. Um, Kerry B says push it back one day. You, I mean... <laughs> Easier said than done, I, I would I would say, to be honest. William Webster says, tighten up, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Tighten up, man. Tighten up all day. Everybody hit that like button, y'all. We got 30 people watching, bro. Get that like button flowing, fellas. Let's go. Let's go. We were under 20 subscribers. Uh, we were under 20 subscribers from 13K, so hopefully we can, we can get that, man. We already went an hour and 10 in the blue room. Now we're chilling for at least 30 minutes right here. And uh, I think we might go live again later, man. I'm gonna see if some if, if anyone wants to come on later. Uh, if if I got time, we'll do we'll do a three peat, man. Going live, talking Tennessee Titans, talking NFL draft, combine, everything is happening. New stadium, oh my God! RG3 tagging me on Twitter, literally tagging me as one of the Titans representatives on Twitter to fucking send out his post. And then when I retweet that, he retweets mine. Gotta love it, man. Shout out to RG3. Shout out to RG3. Alan Darby says, Texans, uh, they got a lot of weapons. If Barkley can stay healthy, it's just us Titans and Texans. Yeah, dude, it's, it'll be fun, bro. It'll be fun, bro. Over chicken. Hey, TA, sorry I'm late. Hey, man, you guys never have to apologize. Never apologize for missing a show or anything like that, man. I appreciate what everyone does for the channel anyway. Just hitting hitting that thumbs up, subscribing, everything like that is enough, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, William Webster says, damn, that's what's up. Cashville, stand up. Yes, sir. Tennessee Titans all day, baby. <laughs> Where's all my Titan fans at, baby? Come on, man. We got a new stadium coming out. We got a fucking beastie-ass quarterback with a, with a sawed-off shot, shotgun, quick-ass Western-style release. A little battle in the cowboy days, man. Look, bam, baby. Quick ass release. Fucking rocket launcher arm throwing 90 yards down the field. He's got the fucking the attitude of a lion. Fuck, my quarterback is going to eat your defense alive next year, man. Whoever we play, you better bring your big boy pants. You don't bring your big boy pants, you getting fucking schooled, bro. Tennessee Titans are going to come hardcore next year. Oh my God, man, I can't wait to see what this team looks like going into week one. I can't wait to see what this team looks like going into week one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, we'll get him, man. Titanus, we're going to get you, man. We're going to have to get you. I thought he already was. 
I already thought he was. I love it, bro. I love this new stadium, bro. I love this new stadium. I love this new outlook on life. This team is breathing new air, baby. Woo! <laughs> Man, it feels good to be a Titans fan right now, baby. It could be way worse. No offense to my, my, my guy Sev, but we could be the Broncos, bro. Don't know who their quarterback is. Got no money to fucking spend. Fuck, that looks wild over there. My, oh, my. We, we, we could have been in that boat, bro. Chief Ridgeway says, hey, bro, a new stadium sounds cool for the Titans. It's beautiful, bro. I'm so excited. I'm so fucking happy. Ah! Woo! Damn! Will Levis! Deep! Deep! It's God! Touchdown, Titans! Touchdown, motherfucker! Willie Rockets gone! Will Levis the D Hub! Touchdown, Titans! Woo! I I'm back. I'm back. I'm fucking back, baby! Woo! I can't wait, baby. Tennessee Titans stand up. Titans fans, man. Titans fans. Titans fans. We ready to go, bro. We ready to go. Let's see. Spooderman says, uh, yes, sir. Tighten up. Alan Darby says, T, I got a question for you. Did you hear Caleb Williams not hiring an agent? If you was a high pick in the draft, would you hire an agent or do it uh, myself or yourself? Um, I think he's approaching everything wrong. I mean, he seems like he's a sore loser personally from the way I've seen him lose. He loses to good teams. Um, I'd probably get an agent. I'm going to keep it a band. I'd probably get an agent. Um, somebody with a, a good reputation. Um, it's crazy, man. It, it, it's really crazy because I... I, I um, I wish everybody, you know, I hope everybody gets their bag, gets their money and everything. But you hear so many weird things like how he wants part ownership in whatever team drafts him and shit like that. Like, you ask it, that, that's crazy to me, man. Like, there shouldn't even be all these crazy, whether that's true or false, there shouldn't even be talk about nothing like that. That's fucking crazy, bro. Like, grow the fuck up, man. Grow the fuck up. You may look 45, bro, but you're like 19, 20, 21, whatever the fuck. You're a little ass kid. He wants to fuck it. That's crazy, bro. It's crazy to me, bro. Like, go out there and earn your keep. What if you go out there and turn into Ryan Leaf, bro? What if you suck? What if you turn out to be, like, just you know, a, a, a player nobody's ever gonna remember? What if you turn into fucking no, no disrespect Jake Locker? Like, come on, bro. Go out there and play a little bit. Part ownership is fucking ridiculous. 40 people watching an outdoor live stream because we just chilling, killing, two-tone vision, and we driven, baby. I love y'all, man. I love y'all. I love y'all, man. We already gave y'all a live stream earlier. Like I told you, man, we're taking it to the next step. We're done playing around. We're done playing around. We're done playing around. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. Again, we might, or depending on if Billy's in here, we could check. We might... We might be at 13K, man. If everybody subscribes right now, we probably get 13,000 subscribers, man. We still got a little bit of time to hang out, so make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that like button and stuff. Uh, Titanus says, uh, TA, what do you think we do with Willis? He is not that guy, but I might be able to be quarterback too. I just don't want to have to draft and sign a new one when we have him. Uh, we can train him up. That's interesting. I'm going to leave that one up to Brian Callahan. I just don't see anything special in him. If they're going to keep him, they're going to need to use him as a weapon as well. Don't be scared to, like, don't treat him as, like, a quarterback that can't, it, it sucks even saying it, but that a quarterback that can't be injured, like, meaning don't be scared to have him get tackled because he's not your starting quarterback anyway. He can't be a starting quarterback in my eyes. And it sucks saying that because he's a Titan. I don't want to say that. Um, but use him on end of rounds if you keep him. Use him on trick plays. Use him on, on, on fucking wildcat even though he's a fucking quarterback like run him use him it's okay he's very explosive as a runner um i don't know it's very i don't i, I just don't know because i think he's 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 a capable thrower obviously he can throw the ball just he i don't think he can stand there and be a full-time quarterback in the nfl but if you give him a limited 
like uh, gadget style playbook weapon offense type I don't know how like something like that then it might work but if you just want to use him only as a quarterback and treat him as a backup and not you really use his legs you, you're wasting a spot on the roster big dog Scooter man says Titans all day every day all day every day and hey join the discord man all day every day 24 7 Tennessee Titans talks on the Titan Anderson discord man the link should be in there somewhere Uh, Leon Yoder says, hey, T.A., just for your information, the Super Chat option is not showing. I, I know, man, it, 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 it's coming back April after April 1st, which is weird, right? If anybody wants to donate, Cash App, money sign, Titan Anderson. That's the best way to send any money if you guys want to donate, Leon. I'd appreciate it. You can send it there, and I'll read it. I'll still read it off. Super Chat, the new memberships, the logo, everything's coming back after everything brand new, a whole new system whole new outlook everything new is coming in april all right man <laughs> sm ducky says i don't want to wait three more years for this beautiful stadium hey we're going to cover every single game so once it's time to go into that new stadium bro who knows how far this channel will be holy fuck but we're going to continue to grow bro continue to call titans games together continue to do live watch parties live hangouts madden monday nights on ps5 live what uh random uh hangouts draft party watch bro it's all coming it's all coming comment below who do you guys want to draft while we get continue reading these comments and catching up uh, let's see, SM Ducky says, Caleb Williams is going to be a total disaster in the NFL. Seems quite toxic personality. I don't know, man. It just sucks that that, that, that he's dealing with, like, I don't, I don't know if it's pressure from the outside. I don't I don't know. I just, I just think that he should just go in there. Look, you're going to be a top two pick, bro. Like, let's be honest about it. You're 90% you're going you're to be the number one pick in the draft. And um, you're going to make a lot of money. Just go into that. Go get your fucking uh, sponsorships and deals. And you're going to be fine, bro. They said he made two, $10 million in, in those two years at college or whatever. Like, bro, you're not you're not hungry, bro. You're, you've are you been eating really well. Like, come on, bro. Like, some of these guys just look at money like it like it grows on fucking trees, bro. And, and none of you none of you guys in the chat better be like, oh, papers, trees, and blah, blah. Get the fuck out of here. You got, There's a lot that goes into that. Titanus says, I'm going to call it. Williams is going to flop bad. His personality's uh, not bubble. Yeah, dude, I don't, it's just like I said, I don't know. There, maybe there's more to it. We'll see. Brandon says, Patrick Mahomes is too good. De uh, uh, detailing Patrick Mahomes' contract. Patrick Mahomes signed a 10 year contract worth $450 million in 2020. That's a great contract. That's a great contract. Great contract. Uh, Chief Ridgeway says, any plans going back to Nissan Stadium? Me and my wife are planning a trip next season to Kansas City. Nothing like a family trip to football. Yeah, I, um, this season, I'm only, I'm not going to go to Tennessee. I'm going to, I'm just going to go out to the, I'm going to, because I do, everyone knows I do live watch party play-by-play. -play. That's what I'm known for is my watch parties for game day. I, I do live play-by-play. -play. It's, it's amazing. Um, but I'm going to be going to the LA, LA Charger game. I went to it two years ago, the Sunday night football game. I'm going to this one as well. So if anybody out there want to meet me, uh, say hi, say what's up. Uh, me and some of my, my people will be out there uh, watching the, the Charger game, having some fun, man. So make sure you guys tap in, man. Rob says, opinion on Derrick Henry possibly leaving. Where do you think he'll go? If I was Derrick Henry, I'm going to uh, uh, the Bills, the Ravens, or the, or the Cowboys. I think those are the best options. I mean... Josh Allen with a, a, a true running back, no no disrespect to Cook. And and Cook could be the backup for Henry. That'd be an insane one two two punch right there. Um, you know, Lamar Jackson needs a real, real running back like to, to get over that playoff hump. He needs a running back that he can rely on. Henry's got two, three years left left of, of pure bruiser left. I think he could really easily go two, three years of of, of true dominant. Uh will he ever lead the league in rushing? He still probably could, to be honest. He probably still could. <clears throat> um, given as you know the the amount of rushes, he'll need the attempts, but I think he still can. And you give him two or three years with Lamar Jackson, I think that gives Lamar Jackson his best opportunity to be a Super Bowl champion. Uh, Dak Prescott had Tony Pollard. That says enough. 
all you had to do was just put more guys in coverage because Tony Pollard wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> oh, man, you give uh, Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and, and Derrick Henry that new trios championship right there. That could be vicious over there in Dallas. So I think that, 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 that that's the three that right there that I'm going I'm to go with. Yeah, I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, Alan Darby says, T.A., use Willis like Taysom Hill from the Saints. I mean, I've mentioned that before, and a lot of people are like, no, you can't do that, blah, 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 blah. Why not? Like, what the fuck? That's fucking crazy. Yes, you can. People that say no just, I don't know, they just fucking want to argue, I guess. It's crazy, bro. Uh, Titan Sal says, Levis legacy season. Hey, bro, I hear you, man. I fucking hear you, bro. It's going to be a great one. My Cowboys family, what's up, bro? He said, what's up, TA? Good to see you growing, bro. But it's always go, Cowboys. <laughs> uh, much love, man. Hopefully in 2024, it's Tennessee versus Dallas in Super Bowl 59. Hey, bro. That'd be funny as hell, man. Um, regardless, man, and, and I, you're probably, I didn't even know you were in, in the chat. You probably heard what I said about Derrick Henry. Um, you're one of the top three options I have for him. Even at the trade deadline, I've mentioned it. Um, I, 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 I would uh, love to hear what you had to say personally about, I mean, imagine Dak and cd lamb having the the true threat of a true running back like derrick henry um it, it it's to me what your offense was missing a true running back that you could really rely on so you didn't have to have Dak throw 40 times a game it's not it's not winning football and you guys got a lot of pieces so i, I don't know you got, you let me know i think that'd be a great great option if i'm a cowboys fan i'm i'm throwing fucking i'm, I'm paying him pay him whatever he wants it's probably not gonna cost him much anyway he's a fucking running back it's crazy Uh, man, V says cool shades, bro. Hey, you got cool shades too, Triangle. <laughs> uh, Carson says, what's up, man? I'm new. What's up, big dog? How you doing, buddy? Uh, Colby Miller says, are, are the Titans going to be good without the head coach or is it just going to be a rebuild year? We're going to have to see, bro. We're going to have to see, bro. Uh, regardless, I'm expecting us to be better than last year. MCF, my Cowboys family, says, for the right price, uh, Titanus, we may need any running back right now, but I like Henry for 4.5 mil or less. Man, yeah, man, I don't think he's gonna get 4.5 mil or less. I think, um, I think at that point we better fucking bring his ass back. I think you guys need to really, uh, Cowboys really need to think about, um, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get some. If you can get him for that price, get him. Of course, fuck yeah. Um, I, I just think, bro, I just really think he'd help you guys get over that edge. Literally, literally. Um, or at least, you know, it, it's, you're, you're, you're in a spot where you're going to face the Eagles anyway. Giants suck. Um, yeah, dude, it's crazy. I, I don't know. It's, it's weird, bro. Cause I, I don't know. I think it will work for you guys. I think it will work for you guys. It, I, I don't, I don't think a lot of, a lot of running backs can do what he does. That's a, that's a thing, bro. Kowalski says, uh, the Titans suck. The Raiders are way better. You don't watch football. Mason Henry says, "Are you driving right now?" Yeah, I'm in a, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a, a, a Cyber Titan. It's, it's the new Cyber Truck, but it's called the Cyber Titan. So you don't have to drive it. You just have to, you just have to be live stream talking Tennessee Titans, and you just have to kind of be thinking about where you need to go on the road, and that's where you go. But you have to have on these special blue Cyclops swag glasses, because if you don't have them, then you're not going to be able to see what's on the road and be live and connect with your crazy ass subscribers. Uh, and drive at the same time it won't work your car will whoop, pull over to the side and, and, and then it'll literally kick you out and 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 then you'd be stuck over there um looking for ted bundy on the side of the road or or waiting for the big blue bus to pop up i mean your choice i guess right <clears throat> uh let's see titanus is uh he's waiting in a parking lot no I'm, I'm at my house bro i'm at my house in my driveway literally I'm at my house in my driveway, literally. I'm just chilling right now. Like I said, I don't have to leave for like 40, 40 minutes to get my son from school. So my older, my oldest son, little TA from school. So I was like, I'm gonna go live again and talk to y'all. Baby TA sleeping. He had his second day of school, kicked ass. Lady Titan sleeping. So TA was like, yo, let me talk to my people some more. You guys don't understand. You guys don't understand. This isn't a, um, it's a lifestyle. Tennessee Titans, I bleed this shit. It's real. It's not a, it's not a fake. I don't, I, this isn't a phone. I don't just, hey, I'm going to go on YouTube real quick. Wife, I'm going to make a video and blah. Nah, like, I live this shit. I live this shit. 
Jibby says, go Lions. You're crazy, bro. John Sanders says, Derrick Henry in a Jim Harbaugh system, he would feast. Maybe. We'll see. I just don't want to see him. I don't want to see him literally in L.A. when I'm going to watch him for the other team. Fuck no. He says, yeah, the Lions were on fire last. Yeah, the Lions had a great season, yo. Yeah. What's up, everybody in the building? Everybody, the art guy, Heather, Jake, Titanus, what are you doing, bro? What are you saying, Brian? That's my link. Doesn't check my bio. It's in there. Okay. Uh, let's see. My Cowboys family said we had Zeke. It's more how Mc, uh, McCarthy uses the running back position. Henry gives the Cowboys a short, short yardage threat again. Henry gives you guys an every every down threat again, bro. Like literally, people. Like I said, people want to say, oh, he's he's thirty. He, he's slowing down. He had his second or third fastest run in his career against the Jags in that last game where he had over 150 yards, clearly not slowing down. And he's a young 30. He just turned 30. Like, it's, like this is crazy to me. It's just people want to hate, though. It is what it is. People want to hate, though. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It's crazy, bro. He says Derrick Henry to the Panthers. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's people walking by right now. Just gotta be careful. So the Bengals are better. Bengals suck, bro. <laughs> nah, the Bengals are a solid football team, bro. The Bengals are a solid football team. Yeah, but hey, bro, I can't wait for this draft. I'm with you guys. I am with you guys. I cannot wait for this draft, bro. Oh, man, oh, man. This draft is going to be fucking fun, bro. Nah, he's just being a troll, bro. Don't don't, don't worry about him. <laughs> uh, happy birthday if it really is your birthday, bro. Yeah, we beat the shit out of the Jag Jaguars are terrible. They're still pissed off. He says, I'm on my Apple Vision Pro. That shit would be funny. I should get one, huh? <laughs> Some of you guys, I swear to God, man. He says, were you a fan since the Oilers? I, I was not an Oilers fan, no. The day the logo re was released, the day the, the logo was, was released, I became a Titans fan. Watched every game. You know what I'm saying? My first ever jersey was a Steve McNair. Not, uh, um... It was a, it wasn't an Oilers. It was a Steve McNair because Steve McNair was on the oil uh, had you know his Oilers uniforms and stuff like that. But Steve McNair, dark blue Titans number nine. Man, I remember rolling up to school in that shit, thinking I was the coolest dude at school. Man, <laughs> I remember thinking I was the coolest kid at school. Man, and nobody there's no Titans. Fan. Actually, there was a Titans fan. He was a weird dude too because he he liked uh, what was his name Nick something. He liked Titans and Eagles, bro. He fucking that dude was a strange guy, man. If you're watching, bro, you were a strange dude, but you you were cool, man. He was a cool guy. He had the like he 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 was a weird he was weird, man. Like he was weird as hell, but he was cool. That's that's one of the very few Titans fans that I've ever that I've ever met, but um yeah, I, I remember um honestly, you guys, I I remember just growing up uh being in San Diego, there was, you know, San Diego Chargers Dallas Cowboys, there was um, 49ers, still is, um, Steelers, so many Steelers fans, you guys, it's crazy, obviously a lot of Raiders over here as well, um, but now it's like uh, the Charger fans kind of separated, uh, there still are Charger fans here, but now it's more of, uh, it's kind of like, it still is kind of like a mix, there's kind of like a, a Chargers, Raiders, um, and 49ers, 49ers has exploded in San Diego, you know, bandwagons. Oh, we're in California. We've always liked the, the fucking, the 49ers. No, no, you didn't. No, you fucking didn't. Um, but yeah, there's 49er flags all over here in San Diego area now too. Um, but yeah, the, the, the Chargers, uh, the Chargers are still pretty liked around here. But it, it's not like when the San Diego Chargers were here, then um, it was like 90%, pretty much 80, 90% San Diego Chargers. Uh, a lot of people really love the Chargers over here, but, you know, they want to fucking dip out, whatever. I went to a few Charger games here, too. Uh, 
I remember that uh, that playoff game where Chris Brown fumbled. Man, I was like fucking two, three rows back from the Titans sideline. Oh man, when he fumbled, I thought he scored. He ran right into that end zone. I couldn't see, uh, and, and I was like, "Yeah, touchdown!" And all of a sudden, everyone's like, "No fumble!" Oh my God, bro, that was the end of it all, man. I remember seeing uh, Cortland Finnegan get the interception live. Cortland Finnegan just jumping in front of that pick, man. Fuck, bro, that was crazy, man. This shit was so crazy. It was like a just so much, so many fun experiences, so many great memories and and, and time. Even with my live streams, my watch parties, man, celebrating some of these wins with my kids running on screen with me, with my wife coming over there and giving me a hug and a kiss, like it's unbe it's unbelievable what this team has brought to me, my family. Like it's it's beautiful, man. This team is it, it's it's gotten me to meet so many cool ass people, so many of my subscribers, everybody, bro. This is a great fucking. This team is awesome. If you're not a Titans fan, you fucking up. He said we had 13k. Did we reach 13,000 subscribers, y'all? 13k, hey, bro. Hey, shout out to my guys, man. We did it, fellas. 13,000 subscribers, man. That's what I'm talking about, bro. I appreciate you guys. Damn, man. That's crazy, bro. I appreciate you guys, man. I really do, bro. Curry Prod says, my dad works for the Titans. Hey, man, give me some autographs, bro. Give me some Siggies, some signatures. 13K. Everyone spam 13K in the chat right now, man. Fuck yeah. Kenneth uh, Conley says, hey, my best friend is a Finns fan. That loser, th that loser thinks they're better than the tits. That's funny as fuck, bro. Oh, oh, shit. What's up, Eddie? How you doing, bro? Damn, 13K, bro. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Much love. I appreciate y'all, man. Fuck. That's crazy. So It's so humbling, bro. It's so humbling. It's so humbling. I appreciate y'all, man. Wow. That's crazy. Tristan says, are the Titans signing Derrick Henry? I hope so, bro. I hope so. Over Chicken says, are the Rams popular in San Diego or, or California? Yeah, of course they are, especially in L.A. In L.A., they fucking love the Rams. Dude, they treat... <laughs> they And Billy can answer this, too. Billy lives in L.A. You could answer it, Billy. Billy will tell you, L.A. sells out. Like, like I mean, they're... Come on, bro. Like, the L.A. LA Rams is meant to be in L.A. It sounds... I mean, I think St. Louis Rams is what... Like, that's what I grew up... You know what I'm saying? With the St. Louis Rams, you know, fuck them. But, you know what I'm saying? But... It's, uh, yeah, the Rams are loved, bro. They're fucking loved in L.A. Chargers, I mean, like I said, people need to understand. Los Angeles and San Diego, we don't really get along. Like, we can tolerate each other, but we don't really like each other too much. It's not the greatest of relationships. It's not. So when you ship, when we ship San Diego over to L.A., they're over there like, oh, we're getting them? Like, what the fuck? They weren't too, like, happy about that. They just weren't, and they still aren't that happy about that. It's crazy, bro. We just aren't. We're uh, we're different, bro. We're just different. Like like L. A. sucks. San Diego's beautiful. We got we got clean air. Their air fucking man. Their air smells like a fucking like a race car track. You know what I'm saying? Like um, we've got the beautiful beach water. They got they've got that nasty ass sharky beach water. <laughs> I'm just fucking with Billy, man. L. A.'s dope as fuck too, man. But but uh yeah we really don't uh san diego and la don't really get along too much bro you know what i'm saying uh drippy says falcons all the way and good luck in the draft i appreciate you bro i appreciate you man Thirteen thousand subscribers man uh man i appreciate you guys man What's up, Insane? Shout you. I got you, bro. Hey, Fizzle. What's up, buddy? He said, fuck the Chargers. I'm with you, man. Fuck them Chargers. <laughs> the Chargers. Uh, Kowalski says, do you think the NFL is scripted? I, I, like to not, I like to not think it is. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like to think that it's not. I like to think that it's not. I like to think that it's not. Let me give me... Woo! Woo! You, you, you hear that sports turbo? <laughs> Oh shit! Hey, y'all are awesome, man. It don't matter if we're in the blue room, the studio, we're outside. Don't matter where the fuck we are, man. I've been in the backyard and it looked like we're in fucking Hawaii out there. People are like, "Where are you, TA? What the fuck?" 
It's hilarious, bro. Y'all are awesome, for real, man. What about the Bulldogs? Colby says, I hate the Titans. I hate you, too. They hate you, too. <laughs> uh, Titanus says, NFL ain't scripted, but I'd say influenced by the rest. I just think there's favoritism. Like, I think there's probably teams they want to win, but going in there and handing them a script and saying oh you're gonna win you're gonna lose you're gonna lose fuck that get the fuck out of here that shit is not there's i did that's too impossible to believe bro there would have been some type of proof already like fucking like you know what i'm saying like little green alien people running around like like there's so many cameras you figure there'd be some proof right like um and you're gonna get all them alien heads coming at me it's gonna be so funny um but it's just weird to me it's just weird to me, so I don't know, bro. I don't think it's just whatever at this point. I just, I just think that there's certain teams that they'd want to see win. Patrick Mahomes, they want, they always want the next greatest player ever. When MJ retired, oh, Kobe's got to be better. Oh, or when when a fucking Magic Johnson, this guy's got to be better. Larry Bird's got to be better. It's always something, bro. It's always somebody's got to be, oh, Tom Brady's the GOAT now. He's better than this guy. He's better than Brett Favre. He's better than Peyton Manning. He's better than fucking, you know, whoever they, is, whoever they want to consider. John Elway, whoever the best is at the, it doesn't matter. Now that now they're trying to make, you know, Pat, Patrick Mahomes be the, the golden boy. And how do they do that? They're not handing him a script and saying you're going to win. I, this, not, this isn't the WWE. That's not that. What it is is probably like the officials are probably favored maybe even told i don't know even if they're paid i don't know but maybe like okay try to you know you got you gotta you throw maybe help them you know if they're being grabbed you can throw a little something here like i'm sure that type of shit is possible but to literally hand somebody a script bro and say like nah you're gonna win you're gonna lose i i don't i can't believe that that, that i can't believe that because if that were true I, I i wouldn't even i wouldn't even watch football i'd be like what the fuck's the point of this and I refuse to believe a true contact sport like that is completely scripted. I don't believe that. Do not believe that. Alexa says 49ers deserve the win. I'm hearing you, bro. I'm hearing you. Everybody hit that like and subscribe, bro. Everybody subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe. We're going to get off in a second. I was only meaning to go 42 minutes or 40, 30 minutes. We went 42 right now. Get those final questions, answers, comments. Get everything in right now. Let's get it. Appreciate everybody for helping us get to 13,000 subscribers. Continue to subscribe below. Uh, Jayster says, update from yesterday. Uh, Caitlin Clark isn't going for a fifth year at Iowa and declared for the WNBA draft. Yeah, there's no reason. Go to the WNBA draft and try to bring that profession up, man. Like, the WNBA gets no love, bro. Like, at all. It's crazy. And she's a fucking big time star right now. What up, Potato? Potato, the, the fucking uh, the Bears fan is back. That's fucking funny, bro. Hey, again though, I appreciate you guys. I'm um, we're pro again, man. We might even go live again for a third time tonight, celebrating 13k. Uh, I really do appreciate everybody. I really do hope that you guys are enjoying the channel, enjoying the live streams. Um, there's a lot going on. Hey, by the way, I want to tell you guys, I tried something. This has nothing to do with football. I, I I tried I didn't I tried a half of one. It's called a cheesa or a pizza cheesa or whatever the fuck it is from KFC. It's like a pizza, one of their their chicken pieces, but like made like a pizza with like mozzarella and cheese and fucking pepperoni. I ate one, a half whatever, because I I don't eat a lot, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. It was like like i'm not gonna lie pretty solid man pretty solid i don't eat fast food or anything like that really too much but that shit was not that bad man not that bad i just had to throw it at you guys <laughs> just had to throw it at you guys real quick titanus says ta do you think we re-sign aziz uh don't know how to spell his name yeah he's got a crazy name right uh i wouldn't mind it uh i don't want to overpay for him though so we got one more minute you guys to get to 45 minutes we're gonna stop at 45 minutes I love y'all, man. Y'all are great. Y'all are great, man. I hope you guys continue to have fun. Like I said, it's about it's about being entertained here, man. It's about being entertained here. This is what it's about. This is what we do over here. We have fun. We talk football. And if you're not a Titans fan, you're still welcome here. We might give you some shit about it, but it's all good. I love you guys, man. Love you guys. Remember, 
13k baby 13,000 we did it man 14k is next that's just gonna be a cakewalk that's just gonna be cut and paste kindergarten style baby tighten up code blue cyclops swag you can't spell this fucking team's name titans without putting that t a in it